writing from earliest childhood, um, before I can even remember. But after my first small press book came out, my mother pulled out of her dresser drawer one of those very large pieces of paper that they give you in around second grade, and on it was written, I want to be a writer when I grow up. So uh, something happened and I knew what I loved, and I feel very lucky I've gotten to do it. The first book of poetry and the first book that I ever bought at age eight was a collection of Japanese haiku, one of those little Peter Popper Press $1 books. And how a girl who grew up in New York City um, discovered that she loved Japanese nature poetry is something of a mystery to me. But there's something deeply universal in those very short poems. And they spoke to my heart and they spoke about what I wanted my life to become. And that was my earliest influence. So the question of poetry's role in any culture, and particularly our contemporary culture, is one that really fascinates me, because I think it is perennial. Um, poetry, over time, has served very different roles. In the age before there was writing, poetry was memory. It was how you remembered something accurately. Now, when we can store our knowledge you know, on silicon chips and in ink, and in, in so many other ways on videotape, um, poetry no longer has to serve as the mainstream memory. And what I think it's been doing for quite a long time is it is poetry's role to look at whatever the mainstream culture ignores. So whatever isn't being seen and isn't being remembered, poetry turns towards that so that now, you know, intimate life, intimate personal life isn't actually that talked about anymore in public. But it remains poetry's job to be present at weddings and funerals and times of great transition and to support us in our, in our changes and in our, in our great rights of transition in a human life. And for me, poetry is a way to comprehend our life more deeply, more widely and compassionately, and more subtly than any other form of thinking that I know. So poetry serves to help us think and help us feel and help us know both our own interior life and the larger life we share with others. Tree. It is foolish to let a young redwood grow next to a house. Even in this one lifetime, you will have to choose. That great calm being, this clutter of soup pots and books. Already the first branch tips brush at the window. Softly, calmly, immensity taps at your life.